Hey, welcome to Hamby Aeronautics. This is Joshua. Today we're going to be talking about the main rotor controls. So the cyclic stick, the collective stick, and the swash plate. And by the way, welcome to Vegas. For no particular reason, that's just where we're doing this. Anyways, so there's two controls we're going to be thinking about today. The cyclic stick, which controls the pitch of the blades in their cycle of rotation and the collective stick, which controls the pitch of the blades collectively, or all together. The cyclic controls the direction of the main rotor disc. So forward cyclic will tilt the swash plate forward, tilting the disc forward, making the aircraft move forward. Aft cyclic, or rearward cyclic, tilts the swash plate to the rear, in turn making the disc tilt to the rear, and the helicopter will fly rearward. Right cyclic, swash plate goes right, disc goes right, helicopter goes right. I think you see where I'm going with this. And same goes for the left. Left cyclic, swash plate tilts left, disc goes left, and the helicopter will in turn fly to the left. Here's a little demonstration of a full clockwise rotation of the cyclic and the swash plate correlation. And here's an outside view so you can see the disc tilt forward, right, aft, and to the left. Next up, collective. So up collective pushes the swash plate up, and this changes the pitch of the blades collectively. Helicopter goes up. Collective down, swash plate goes down. Helicopter goes down. All right, well, that's pretty much a general explanation of how the swash plate works with the uh, main rotor controls. Now this is a simple explanation of the main rotor controls and the uh, swash plate correlation between the two. Uh, there's a lot more to it, like gyroscopic precession and things like that, but that's another video. This is just a generic example. I appreciate you watching. This is Joshua from Hamby Aeronautics. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more videos.